Saturday night. You're alone in your room and you suddenly decide to download Tinder. You're just wanting some fun, so you put in your bio, I'm here for a good time, not for a long time. And that awful metaphor is how I would describe the 2018 indie game known as Donut County. Donut County is a story-based puzzle game where you're going to control a strange hole in the ground and use physics of items in your environment in order to make them fall through the hole. It's a very simple concept for a game from just how I'm talking, and it may sound like something that would get old quite fast while playing through it. However, while Donut County is quite short, it's incredibly addictive, and it's a very fun, short, and good time. The gameplay for the game is really fun, but it's helped by a great cast of characters. Our main star being BK the Raccoon, who's running a donut shop. In the game, the townspeople are ordering a donut, and they're expecting a great pastry with a hole in it, and oh my god, these donuts are so nice. Oh, donuts. We must donuts. No, in fact, they're receiving a hole in the ground, and BK is attempting to suck up the trash and everything around them as well. This causes a large amount of the town and its people to be sucked into the underground of Donut County, where the characters are going to sit around a campfire, and they're going to share stories of how exactly they ended up in this predicament. The cast is super loving, especially with the sarcastic and charming BK the Raccoon, our main character, who just wants to upgrade a level 10 on his whole game in order to get the cool drone known as the Quadcopter. You also have characters like the Conspiracy Theory Nut known as Possum, me, our main heroine, who works with the raccoons in their donut shop, and a lot more. There's so many characters in this game, and they're all very charming, and they really help, I think, make this game feel that more special, because the game, gameplay-wise, is fun as you're using the physics to make things land into the hole in the ground and you have to work a lot with that throughout the levels as it changes as well because you have to figure out the puzzle for it but it is very helped by this great cast of characters this great writing doesn't apply to just the characters though but the levels in which they're in as well in the level hopper springs your task of making these rabbits and carrot shaped rocks get sucked into the donut hole however you have a puzzle where you have to get a carrot into the hole and you have to make a rabbit jump out of a fence in order to get it in the hole what is amazing about this level is when you get two rabbits into the hole you see the hole start bumping basically and hearts start popping into the air and this continues the more you get rabbits and stuff into the hole until basically the hole just explodes with a whole bunch of baby rabbits shooting out the rabbits are having sex in the hole what is happening here <laughs> A few other levels that I think are pretty fun are Beach Lot C, where you have to light fireworks in order to destroy the edge of a cliff, but you also have to get birds off of a light pole and manage to get all of them, uh, basically at the same time, while you're shooting fireworks at them. This is probably the level I think is the most timing required level, but it, all the levels in it are pretty fun. The big level that I think most people are going to have the most fun with and remember the most is going to be 405, and at this point in the game you're looking for Pup, who is a dog that escaped the hole by accident via hot air balloon, and in order to escape the hole we need to go meet the trash king who is the big bad of this game so we need that balloon that pup is in so we go on the freeway in order to find pup so you're basically using the hole and sucking up cars into the hole in order to get your way get your hole big enough basically to get the pup however at the end of the level the hole gets so big that you literally suck up the entire freeway it's the most hype moment in this game and it is insanely awesome once you've beaten a level, though, you have this cool little feature known as the Trashopedia, which is basically an encyclopedia of the items you collect and mixed with a lot of funny writing. It's a, it's a lot of BK's takes on the item, which I really like a lot. And the thing about Donut County is Donut County is such a chill game, I think, and the funny writing also, I think, helps with that because this game is only an hour long. If even that, I think it's actually maybe an hour and a half, and you can beat it in a day, easily. I beat it in two settings, and this game's very charming due to the writing, and because of how laid back it is, and the thing that I think makes it feel laid back is the cozy soundtrack done by Daniel Kostner and Ben Esposito. The soundtrack has a lot of very comfy and fitting songs, but also some really just downright bangers, with Birds of Paradise being my favorite song in the game.
getting Pup and the Balloon back, though, we're gonna be head to the final level where we meet TK, the Trash King. BK has a little funny thing where he's like, Hey, bro, you up? Uh, can you please stop digging the holes? And the Trash King leaves him on red. Like, a tender match is just way out of your league. I mean, that never happens to me. Never. <laughs> Thanks to Possum, though, we managed to hack our way into the final level where you're going to use every stage gimmick in the game in order to progress. I love this trope. I love when games do this. I love the idea of in a game when you get to the final level and it's just the same, like, things you did in the previous levels get brought back to do that. It's just a nice, like, this is how far you've come kind of thing, I think. And in this level as well, we get to witness another rabbit orgy. Yes, I do like this game for the gameplay. At the end of the stage, though, we're finally going to meet up with the Trash King, and I love this character. He's just BK with the crown, but he's really funny, and he has this really weird gag where he has his hand stuck in a pickle jar, and BK's like, you know you can just take your hand out of that, and he's like, no, I won't. But <laughs> it's just, it's weird, but I like the whole pickle jar gag, I think it's very funny. But the Trash King is going to offer BK several things in order to get BK to join the dark side. And we then get our final boss where we face off against the King Quadcopter. I love this because it's the thing that BK wants, but it's the final boss. So it's like, you're facing the thing that you want in the entire game. And that's another trip I really like. And all hope seems lost until BK shows back up. He didn't take the pickle! And the final boss is basically just shooting BK up into the... King Quadcopter and shooting mods back at it. It's not admittedly a very awesome boss. You do it three times and you've beaten Donut County. This boss is very underwhelming, but I like that you do get a boss in this game. I actually wish this game had a few more bosses. I think it would have been cool to see how they pull it off. Um, because they do a lot, like, of the puzzle stuff, and I love the puzzle stuff in this game. It works really well, because you get when you're trying to, like, shoot water at a, like, a ferris wheel and get to move real fast, and it'll spin and go destroy a tower, or you're, uh, making soup to get roaches to eat it so you can kill all the roaches and suck them up. The game has a lot of really good puzzles, and the gameplay's fun, but I wish you kind of had a few more boss fights like this, because I think that's the only thing that's really missing from Donut County, because while this game is short, it does tell a really interesting story, and I think that's the solid part of this game. It's a story of BK who just wants to win this codcopter, and it causes him to lose his way, and he's got to find it back again thanks to his friend Mira, and he accepts that he messed up, and he feels guilty for what he's done, not only to the town, but the town's people. And in the end, he ends up fixing things, obviously, but he still remains a lovable and sarcastic douchebag. He's so likable, and so is the rest of the characters in this game, and it truly does show the importance of the county and how, despite being different, they all have to work together in order to solve this problem. And I think it'd have been cool if we kind of got more of that uh, throughout the story, and even kind of in, like, the puzzles as well, because you have missions where you're gonna shoot, like, BK up to the quadcopter, or you're gonna shoot a frog up here to get something. It'd have been cool if you'd, like, shot some of the, like, the other cast of characters up, but maybe they did a bit more, you could play as them for like a bonus thing, I don't know, I know this is an indie game, and they probably were limited on the stuff they had in the budget, but it's still really cool, and I, I love this game, it's a very fun time, it's fun, it's quirky, the story's really heartwarming, I think, it's just a fun time, and I recommend this to anyone, it's short, and it's easy to pick up, it's often on sale on Steam and the Nintendo eShop, I got it for like four bucks, so it's definitely worth your money. It's a good time, but not a long time. <laughs>